this is Cool Cleveland correspondent Julie Kahigas. I'm here in the Wall Eye Gallery in the Gordon Square Arts District, and I'm here with Joe Ayala, who's having his first solo show in about five years this Friday. So let's learn a little bit more about that. Hi, Joe. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. All right. So um, your first solo show in five years opens this Friday. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the works that will be in the show and what attendees can expect from the evening? Absolutely. Um, this show is pretty much uh, not so much five years in the making, but just pretty much the progress that I've done within the five years of my last show. Um, it's a pretty scatterbrained exhibition. I uh, love to dabble in different styles and techniques, even different periods. Uh, being a self-taught artist and just learning things on my own but without any kind of structure is pretty much an example of what this exhibition is. Uh, just going from period to period, different styles, just learning, experimenting, uh, just promoting freedom within the arts and stuff within what I do. Uh, it's pretty much a pure example of what I got here just within this, uh, going from the classical painting uh, with the oils and stuff. The very next painting goes straight to modern abstract and then you get a combination of the two. studied a lot of different artists, a lot of different periods from pop art to renaissance, which I love both. And it's, you'll see a lot of that within my work. Uh, what's cool is that each piece kind of serves as a different episode that the viewer will see. Uh, each piece is individually different. Uh, the styles, the subjects, things like that. There isn't really too much of a series going on here at all. Everything is individual, so there's always something fresh with what the viewer will see within each piece. Yeah, I know you mentioned AADD as a, as a style. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much kind of self-diagnosed that. Uh, it's artistic attention deficit disorder. It's kind of like uh, the perfect example of what the show is. It's like I can't stick to one thing. I have to jump from one thing to the other uh, in terms of, again, uh, just whatever I see, whatever mood that fits within me. I can just put it right on paper or canvas, things like that. So. Again, every, every piece is fresh, every piece is new when the viewer goes through it and stuff like that. So, so I know you um, grew up in the Cleveland area. What inspired you to become an artist? Uh, life, just witnessing things, things that I see every day. Um, pretty much in kindergarten, it's when it started out, just picking up paper and pencil and just doing it out. And I was like, hey, this, this is fun. And it just progressed from there. Uh, just picking up books when I was a kid that my parents gave me, just art books and things like that. And I was just hooked ever since then, uh, including going to the art museums and things like that. It was pretty much just, just my own personal love for art, not so much academically, but just, just more naturally. And it just developed from there. So what kept you in Cleveland? Uh, definitely not the weather, but it's <laughs> definitely the people. Despite, especially within this week and today that everyone knows, uh, despite what a lot of people say about the city, I can say it's got some of the coolest people I've ever met. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I, I love the city. The people are great. Uh, the art scene is phenomenal. Uh, even though there's a lot of struggles within the city and the economy and things like that, uh, the people here will do whatever they can to stay together, keep together, and prosper as best as we can despite everything that's going on. Yeah, do you think the struggle is maybe some, some kind of an inspiration? Absolutely. I mean, like, that's part of uh, being the starving, struggling artist, you know. There's, there's always a story behind it, you know, and as long as you make that, you know, story good and keep producing and not give up, you know, everyone will prosper that way. So I know that uh, the Walleye Gallery here, that you're a partner and yeah. owner. How did you guys choose the Gordon Square neighborhood and what's coming up at Walleye? Um, we chose this area uh, mainly based on just the building itself here. Uh, this was already a gallery many years before then, and we all love the space and have been coming to shows here. So it was just a good coincidence that the Gordon Square was just developing at a time that, well, have already developed, but it's really on the up and coming when we were just coming in, and uh, uh, it was just something that just happened. So kind know, of serendipity. Uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, and uh, we're extremely happy to be a part of it. Uh, we've already taken part of festivals and uh, other projects within the Gordon Square. And uh, 
it's becoming very successful. And uh, even though we've only been here not even a year, uh, it's become really, really good. So we're very happy. All right. Well, it was great to talk to you, Joe. And uh, we look forward to your show this, this coming Friday, the 16th. Uh, what time should we all show up? Opening night is 6 p.m. and it goes on until 11 p.m. It may go on a little bit later. Uh, we're expecting a pretty good crowd. Uh, basically just telling everyone to just come out here and just have fun and just have a good time and party. That's all it's about here. So. All right, sounds great. Uh, this is Julie Kahigas signing out from Walleye Gallery. <laughs>